Alright, so we're out here on the lake fishing. Lake that you've seen us fishing before. We got Jordan in the boat today. What are you saying? Long weekend, so probably just make one video and call it Sally and upload it. Because I think tomorrow I'm gonna be fishing with either Outdoors Guy 500 or another feller. So we're either gonna be pickerel fishing or uh, bass fishing, one of the two. We're bass fishing out here right now. Got one nice one to the boat, Jordan had. A little pad and a half. So, uh, yeah. so I'm just gonna set up the camera and uh, keep fishing, and hopefully you'll see some fish on camera. So, stay tuned. Yeah. Okay. It's going. This time. <laughs> it's going. All right. So we've been fishing for a while now. And we got a better fish on here off a white wacky rig. Really nice fish, Ben. Just came up there and ate it. Jordan's operating the camera. We haven't been filming this camera. We've been pushing us around quite a bit. So. Nice fish. Yeah, well, not bad. What do you think, kid? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that, he's got it. Uh, he's got it. Take it deep. Yeah. It's not good. So, uh, no, I was just letting it sit on bottom. Had some slack in my line and, uh, yeah. Had some slack in the line. So yeah, that's a, a nice fish. Yeah. Anyways, we'll get back and hopefully get this guy and hook him back in the water. So stay tuned. Right on. All right, we got another nice one hooked up, and I got one as well. This is, well uh, I had one. Gonna probably go four pounds. What? Oh yeah. Are you serious? I'm serious. All right. That's gonna go. Monster. That might be five. That's a big one. That's a nice fish, Ben. That's a big one. Okay, let me see the net. Oh, I get it. I got it. You All right, you got it. I'm filming. Yep. Yeah. All right. This guy will definitely be scaled. Oh, yes, sir. Holy jeez. And Ben said he doesn't really think there's many big fish in here. He just got proved wrong on this one fishing trip. Oh, that is a big fish. Nice fish, Ben. Holy jumps. Alright. He's, de he's that's definitely going to be four. Oh, yeah, he'll be four. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to cut the, uh, I'm gonna have to cut the hook out of this guy, but. Nice fish. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good fish. Yeah, this guy's going to be. They like this white in here, and I didn't know. I didn't know what to tie on. I was using a couple different things there earlier, yeah. so actually I might be able to get that out. I'm gonna try. That's the trouble with these smaller With these smaller wacky rigs, sometimes the bigger fish will. Oh, no, no problem. That is a nice fish right there. Yep, put her on the scale. Let's see what we got here. I'm thinking four and a half, I don't know. Oh, three and a half. Three and a half pounds? Ah, a little over three and a half pounds. Nice fish. That's a nice one. That's my biggest fish out of this lake so far. Yeah. Let him go. There he goes. There he goes, just like that. Nice fish. Right on, guys. Right off that white, white uh, Gary Amato Senko. So stay tuned. We got, we're going to keep fishing here. So. Right on. Right on. All right, so we're out here. Just got to the uh, fishing spot. Um, here with Outdoors Guy 500. There's the old GNCs going up to Parker right now. Oh, here looking to do a little bit of chain pickerel fishing here today. Um, got the little 12 footer here. Um, got our fishing rods in the vehicle. And we're just getting ready to go here. Uh, we're going to keep any that we catch because I hear they're good eating and uh, they're an invasive species and they're very destructive to the. To, uh, the natural salmon and uh, 
trout populations here in Nova Scotia, so we're going to keep any, and uh, I hear they're pretty good, so hopefully we'll get a couple in and have a nice feed when we get home, so uh, stay tuned, we're going to grab, uh, grab our gear, get geared up, and you'll see us out here fishing right soon, so stay tuned. Put uh, gloves on to, uh, it should be alright, yeah, it's going to be slimy, but you got him. Yep, first pickerel, first pickerel I've caught in a long time. Right down there. Fish? Yep. Good. He's a good keeper. He's oh, going to yeah. be a good eating one. Yeah, that's a good eating fish right there. Jeez, yep. Uh, we need those pliers. You had them. Uh, right there. Skunked. Yeah. That's a great eating fish. There. Yeah. The old flacker. The flacker, I guess. Right. right on. Alright, well, we're shooting sure. bucket right there. Slimy old hands. I mean, them things are slippery. You're right. Well, I guess I should leave the video camera on from now on. <laughs> now that we got one in. Yeah, that clacking minnow, he took to right to that. Bite and a half. Got one? Oh, yeah. there you go. Do you need that for him? Or? Um, he's not real big, whatever. It is. Oh, Jesus. Should we keep him? Uh, uh, yeah, he's. We can get something. We can off get him. something off him. That's, that's the main thing. Yeah, we'll keep him. Alright. There we go. There we are. A couple fish in the boat now. on one of them episodes of Lost Lake. Yeah, really. That's a good show. <laughs> then, <laughs> I should really get rid of that. There we go. There's a fish. Oh! That's not a bad looking one. No, that's a good fish. Right underneath the floor. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Geez, that's a nice one. Yep. Now they're finished the boat. Yep. On the back, you're in. Can't beat that. Alright. That's a good keeper. Yeah, that, that's a good keeper. I knew right underneath that tree there, I was looking at that tree. And... But I better try that. I seen him come up and hit it too. I'm thinking you got the idea with the wacky rig. And I bought there. these new bright, bright red scented. Oh, yeah. Are they Gary Motto? Or? Yeah. Alright, another fish to the boat. We'll be back with uh, some more fishing action. Alright, so we're out here fishing. Just got back to shore. We're just uh, getting geared up here. Oh, thanks. Our gear out and you know, organized and whatnot. Caught a few fish. Got them up here. Fill these guys up. There's a couple small ones in there, but they'll all they'll all equal out in the end. So some decent fillets off of there. And it's a good day. Caught a few fish. Lost lost one really nice one. I did. Lost one really nice hook too. Put my rub. <laughs> I had a rusty old. Uh, steel leader on I put it right up in the right up in the bushes so anyways I had an extra one so not all was lost so anyways well, I'm sure we'll be out back out fishing again I think 
Might get out tomorrow somewheres or something. Just to cap off the weekend of fishing because last night out with Jordan got that nice three pounder and some pickerel today, so Okay, watch that boat while I bring the truck. Yep. In. So uh he's going up to get the truck and we'll be on our way. So uh stay tuned, thanks for watching. And uh we'll be back here in a couple days, or well probably tomorrow, with some more uh with some more fishing. So right on. Stay tuned. There was a couple looms over there just a second ago. Thought I'd grab a video camera and start filming. Got my fishing gear sitting up here. This is a little secret spot that I used to come when I was a young feller. I just decided I'd come down here and try for a few bass. Bass Lake here, there used to be a few trout that run down here, so just thought I'd sneak down and be back in a second and hopefully hooking up with a few fish and I don't have much video or battery power left from pickerel fishing yesterday, but I'll get what I can on camera and hope for the best, so stay tuned. Just a little fart. Fun catching though, these river fish in here, they have to fight to keep up with the current and they're in here chasing these little trout that swim upstream and they fight hard for little fish. They're fun to catch. So I've been fishing down, whoa, I've been fishing down in here for a while now. And here I have a nice one on. I'm trying to record and fish at the same time. It's a little tricky. But he's a nice one. I'm just going to set the camera right down here. Just hang on, folks. I'm going to reel this guy in. Oh, yeah, that's a better fish. He's fighting on this Rappel floater. Just switched up. Oh yeah, this is a nice fish. Oh, he almost got right on the camera. This will go, this is probably a good three pounder. I don't have my scale with me, but I'd say probably three or four pounds right here. There we go. That's a nice fish right there. Alright, sorry about that folks, but I had to kind of abandon the camera and get that nice guy in. He's he's three pounds, he's not four, but he's definitely three. Um, so, there's a nice fish. Too bad I didn't get him on camera, but yeah, that's going to go three pounds. And there's the, uh, there's the rapple right in his mouth there. So I wish I would have had my camera going for that, but he was right off the shoal here. And I thought, it looks like that would be a good spot for fish spawning and this guy came up. Anyways, get some pictures and we'll put them back in the water. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we're here and uh, just about ready to shut her down for this little secret honey hole of mine for smallies and maybe start heading home. There's a couple males. Male mallards over there. My camera's just about ready to die. Had a good weekend of fishing though. Oh, with Outdoors Guy 500. Myself, Jordan, lots of fun, so stay tuned. Long weekend fishing, just getting wrapped up, camera's done. Big fishing, three pounder today. Pickerel fishing yesterday, three and a half pounder there with Jordan. Um, Saturday or Friday night it would have been, so. Lots of big fish caught, stay tuned. Um, we'll be back again, getting out fishing lots here lately, so we'll have lots of videos up and uh, Hope you enjoyed this one, my last big fish there. I didn't really get on camera real well, but oh well, we'll, uh, we'll be fishing again and catch some more big ones. So uh, stay tuned, thanks for watching. Woodsman 500, subscribe, stay tuned.